The Garmin Aviation Database Manager loads databases onto media to update your avionics and portable devices. The Garmin Aviation Database Manager provides a calendar view to track all your subscriptions and a convenient way to buy or renew subscriptions by linking you to flygarmin.com. The first time you open the Garmin Aviation Database Manager, you must sign in using your Fly Garmin account username and password. Learn What's New will appear on the screen, where you can click on the blue text to read about any changes made to the software. Clicking on the blue text throughout the Database Manager will provide more information. Click OK to proceed to the Software Licensing Agreement, which appears the first time you use the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. Click on Accept to open the dashboard. Subsequent uses of the Database Manager should open directly to the dashboard if no software updates have been made. At the top left of the dashboard, you will find Preferences, where you can make changes in how the Database Manager performs. For most users, the default settings will work best. The Help menu provides access to drop-down menus that contain guidance and information about the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. In the upper right, you will find Home. You can click on this at any time to return to your dashboard. At the top center, you can select Aircraft when updating databases on Aircraft Avionics, or select Portables when adding databases to portable devices. The names of the aircraft or devices will appear at the left. On the right of the home page, you see color-coded icons indicating the status of your databases. Mousing over the icons provides a pop-up stating what the icon means. You can mouse over any icon throughout the database manager to determine its meaning. Next to your database icons, you'll find two options in blue. Update Reinstall, which takes you directly to the Database Updates page, and Calendar View, which provides a better visual depiction of all your information. There is one more option that may appear. Redeem Databases will appear when a database selection is needed. Click Redeem Databases and you will be returned to the Fly Garmin website to the Database Selection page. There, you will select a database for the aircraft flagged on the dashboard. Once the selections are made, return to the Garmin Aviation Database Manager and click the Refresh icon to activate the changes. The calendar view shows the status of your databases. In this example, databases have expired as indicated by the red icon in the middle of the screen. At the top of the screen, an information block is also outlined in red, reflecting the color of your database status and providing details on actions that may be needed. Within the information block are two blue tabs showing available actions, Update Reinstall or Buy Databases. Below the information block is the date information. You can adjust the view to various time periods. The three-month view provides the best overall view. The magenta line labeled Now indicates the current date. On the left of the calendar are the database names. In this example, red icons appear on databases that have expired. The colored horizontal bars indicate the status of each database. The light blue bars indicate databases are available to be loaded. The medium blue bars indicate databases have been purchased but are not yet active. The dark charcoal lines marked Not Owned are databases that must be purchased. The green vertical lines at the end of a database bar indicate when the next database update can be downloaded to your media. The white circle with a check mark on the timeline indicates the current cycle installed. If you click on the blue names under Regions, more information can be seen. In this example, it is showing the terrain resolution that has been chosen and other options possible for installation. Whether you click on Update Reinstall on the opening dashboard or click on Update Reinstall on the calendar page, you will reach the Install Database Updates page. You must select an action in the upper left under which cycle. There are usually two choices. Update Expired Databases 
or reinstall all databases. Reinstall all databases is selected when you must reinstall all your databases, even if they're current. When installing databases for the first time or when cycles overlap, you'll see a third choice, update to the current cycle. Make sure you select all the databases to be loaded in the Select for Update column in front of each database name. If you're installing Jeppesen charts, you can click on the blue More Info text and a pop-up will appear with more information. More information about the Jeppesen databases can be found on the Help menu at the top of the page. Click Continue to start loading the databases onto your media. A license agreement will appear each time you load new databases. The agreement must be accepted to start the process. A page appears with an image of the media required for download and instructions to start the download process. The instructions listed in the upper left guides you through the process by highlighting each step in white text as the download progresses. In this example, Two SD navigation cards are required to complete the database download, a navigation data card, and a supplemental card. First, you're asked to insert the correct card in the SD slot on your computer. When your media appears, click on the white circle. It will turn blue, indicating the card is ready to be used, and the Continue tab will be activated. Click Continue to start the process. Follow the menu instructions to download the databases on your media. When two cards are necessary, you will be instructed to load the second card. As the databases are loading on your media, progress bars will appear. The blue bar at the top will indicate the overall progress. The green title and icon shows when each of the database downloads are complete. The loading progress bar and the words installing are showing that Safe Taxi is currently loading. The airport directory database is still being loaded onto your computer and will be loaded onto your media as indicated by Install Pending. The Terrain and Flight Charts databases take the longest to load. How fast your databases download is determined by your computer and internet connection. If your computer has been on and connected to the internet, Many of the databases will have been automatically loaded onto your computer. This speeds up the download process in the database manager. When the download is complete, it will be indicated in the upper left menu. The green icons indicate the databases were successfully loaded on the appropriate cards. You can close the process by clicking Done. The media can be removed and used to install databases into the avionics or portable devices. When you click Done, you'll be returned to the dashboard. Notice the aircraft you updated now has a green icon. If you check the calendar view, you will see that your databases are up to date. Don't forget to perform the final critical step of installing the removable media into your avionics and portable devices. This provides the basics of navigating the Garmin Aviation Database Manager. If you need additional details on various processes within the application, check out our additional videos available through the Help menu.